In this video, I'll do an overview of CloudFormation. CloudFormation provides us a template-driven method of provisioning resources in Amazon Web Services. It helps us automate the provisioning, and we might use it, for example, to create a custom virtual private cloud into which we launch specifically configured instances. But it's not limited to that. We can also automate the provisioning of S3 buckets, DynamoDB tables, and so on. Here from the Amazon Web Services main page, under Deployment and Management, I'll click Cloud Formation, where it's described here as Templated AWS Resource Creation. I'm going to have two options. I can either build a fresh new stack, or I could build a template from any existing resources I might have already deployed in Amazon Web Services. In this example, I'll click the Create New Stack button. I'm going to call this one Configure-Win-SRV for servers. I want to have a template that automatically configures newly launched Windows Server instances in a specific manner. Here, I'm going to choose from the template drop-down list where I can see I have options to configure a LAMP stack, a WordPress blog, Windows Active Directory, and my current choice, Windows Features and Roles. I could completely customize this though. I don't have to choose a template from the list. I could even automate a lot of this using Chef or Puppet. Here I'll click Next. Then what I'll do is fill in these blanks to customize my instance that gets launched. So I'm going to specify specific Windows features as well as roles that I want installed. I've selected the instance type, I've specified a key pair to you so I can decrypt the randomly generated Windows Administrator password, and I've specified that I can connect from any location when I want to RDP into instances created from this template. So I'll go ahead and click the next button in the bottom right. I'm not going to specify any tags or advanced options, so I'll click next, and on the summary screen in the bottom right, I'll click the create button. And we can now see that the creation is in progress. We can now see our new formation configure win serve is in the midst of being created. Down below, I can see that the events are related to creation of things like instances, security groups, and so on. And remember that this is designed to automate the provisioning of resources in the cloud. If I select the Resources tab down below, I can see, for example, that we've got a Windows Server instance, and I can see the ID of it that's been created. Under the Status column, we see Create underscore Complete. So not only will it have launched that Windows Server instance, but it will also have installed the roles and features that we specified. So we can see our instance ID has A2A2 within it. So if we switch over to our EC2 console, we can see that, in fact, that specific Windows instance is in the midst of initializing. Down below, we can see that a security group was created related to our cloud formation configuration. Now that the instance is running and has initialized, I can select it and click the Connect button. Here, I need to get the administrator password. Because in my cloud formation, I specified a standard key pair I had previously created, here I'll be able to specify the private key and decrypt the password. So here's the password then that has been decrypted that I can use to connect to that instance. Now that I've connected to my Windows Server instance, if I start the Server Manager tool and select Roles, I can see indeed the web server role has been installed and if I select Features, I can see the Windows PowerShell ISC, the integrated scripting environment, has also been configured. Now, we don't have to use these pre-built templates with CloudFormation. We could really customize it to suit our needs using either Chef or Puppet, where we could, in a detailed manner, configure every single component of our resultant architecture that we want to end up with. In this video, we did an overview of CloudFormation.